it's been a challenging year for uh, so many students uh, on all different levels, um, but college students as well. But they have survived the pandemic, and for so many of them, they are reaching graduation time. But what is it going to look like this year? Uh, to talk a little bit more, let's bring in Dr. Stephanie Lee. She's an administrative associate uh, for the provost office over at Oakland University. Dr. Uh, Lee, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And, and you know, first, just hats off to all of the students that have been able to manage and survive this pandemic and reach it to graduation. It is it's just truly during this time, it's been amazing for the students. They've stayed motivated, they've been involved, even while working through a pandemic. So, so yeah, hats off to our students. You know, think about the stories they're going to be able to tell, you know, their kids and their grandkids back when I was in college. It's going to be great. You know, like for us, you know, for our parents, they all walk through 20 inches of snow, 10 miles uphill to get to school. These kids live through a pandemic. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's just going, they, they will have stories to tell. <laughs> So with that, uh, we're, for a lot of them, they are nearing completion of their uh, college career. It's such a big part of that is the tradition of the commencement ceremony. What is it going to look like this year at Oakland University? So this year, we're going to do a drive-in style commencement. And so with that, we're offering the students an in-person commencement. So they, they will be able to bring their families sit in the car and watch all the exercises. We will have a live component as well as some virtual components. So they're having their commencement experience. It's just, it looks a little different and it's different for them. So how is it going to work um, when you say it's drive-through? So they'll be there in person, but yet partially virtual. Um, is it going to be on a jumbotron and a huge parking lot? Um, will they be parked? Yes. What is the, you know, logistics of pulling this off? Yeah, so we're saying drive in because drive through meaning that they, uh, they think that they're not going to stay. So they will come in, they will park their vehicles and they will look at it too. We have two large jumbo, jumbo screens. And so they will be able to watch the entire production virtually. And then we will have some life components for them and they will have to get out the vehicle to do some things. And it's going to be <laughs> exciting. <laughs> They're anxious, they don't know what's going to happen, but you know, we've done it before. We did it in August, it was a big success. So we truly are excited. <laughs> I do feel like uh, coming up to, um, you know, the, it's the uh, one year in, but this also happened at the end of, you know, last year. So you guys have a little bit of experience there. What lessons did you learn from last year that you took into this year's commencement? Well, some of the lessons we learned was the weather <laughs> plays a big part in having something outdoors because the students will still walk across the stage and take a photo with the president and some of our leadership. So we had these banners up behind them. And that one particular day, we had winds up to like 30 miles per hour. So we were like, oh no. So we had to <laughs> drop the screens and, and use the nature as the backdrop of the <laughs> ceremony. So weather plays a, a big part of this day. <laughs> So right now, Mother Nature, we're asking you to cooperate. You gave us snow today. So, you know, when it comes to the drive-in commencement, can we get a little bit of help, right? Absolutely. I'm just thinking about everything blowing around. It was like, can anything else happen? Right. We have beautiful flowers and <laughs> diplomas. <laughs> So with that, um, how is it going to work? Do you guys break it down like into the various um, schools, uh, yes. you know, so there's not so many people at one time? Yes, we do. We break it down into college and school. So we'll have a total of six ceremonies between March 13th and the, uh, and the 15th. So we do plan on having over 1,800 students that's going to participate over those uh, three days. So with that, uh, they drive in, they park. Where's the location? Is it? I would imagine it's there on campus. 
It is, it's in our parking lot one, we call it P1. And this parking lot is very, it, <laughs> is, um, it means a lot to our students because this is the parking lot where most of our students spent most of their days looking for parking spots. <laughs> So this is the, the parking lot where you would see students zooming up and down if they see someone walking out of the building, they trying to hunt down a parking spot. So we thought, what a way to end their <laughs> academic career at Oakland with <laughs> not having to look for a spot. We have the police to direct you directly to your spot. <laughs> that's a, that's kind of a good way to end uh, their college career there at Oakland University, because I will say I've been there on career days and you do that same thing, right? You're waiting for someone to walk out and you kind of slowly follow them. <laughs> I, wait, are, are you leaving? Are you leaving? <laughs> yes. So, and you have to have a little fun during all of this. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So we tried to make sure we incorporated some of the, our traditions that we have at the university and at commencement. So we will have our bagpipers, we will have our university marshal. The students will get out their car for the tassel ceremony. The um, doctoral students will be hooded by a family member. So we're, we're adding that component that they would see inside of our arena we're just bringing it outdoors so we can be safe and so and we can social distance. We're speaking with uh, Dr. Stephanie Lee. She's an administrative associate for the provost office over at Oakland University. Uh, do you have a backup plan if we do get bad weather, such as like a torrential downpour? I hate to say <laughs> those words. I don't want to jinx you. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a pivot plan, and we have that Sunday, uh, May 16th, as a backup day. So if one of the ceremonies is rained out, uh, we know we would notify the students that they would have a backup plan to come on May 16th as our pivot plan. So do you have a limit on how many people can attend with that student or is it just however many they can fit into the car? Cause I'm thinking clown car situation here. <laughs> Good question. So we've been getting pictures, students have emailing us picture. Can I bring, you know, a party bus? Can I bring a limo? Can I bring an RV? So if the vehicle can fit in a parking spot, they can bring it. So if you have a uh, van that can hold 11, it fits in a, in a parking spot so they can have 10 guests. <laughs> That is right. You have to give them points for being creative during this, right? Students, I'd be like, okay, let me start uh, booking some of these uh, party buses, you know, and they can use the additional money as well. Right. So how is it going to look? Will they actually walk across a stage or um, is it just more of a virtual where maybe they'll be highlighted on uh, the Jumbotron? So when the students first arrive and we're getting the students all part, um, we will have each student's photo, their major, any honors, and a quote to their family members will be displayed, kind of, you know, going through a cycle. After the actual ceremony, our students will do a recessional where they will drive their vehicles to the other side of the parking lot where they will exit their vehicles, they will be handed their diploma, likely by their dean of their school or college, and then they will walk across a physical stage. So and then they'll exit, and then the faculty and the rest of the staff at the university will be cheering them on, congratulating them. I'm just trying to think of the logistics behind this. So are you trying to park them in assigned parking spots so that you can keep track of where they are? When they arrive, they are they, the police will park each individual car. Wow. And then oh. when they leave, they leave out one car. We ex escort them out one car at a time to get over to the other area where the staging is. And that lasts about 30, 40 minutes for 200 cars. So we have it, it's a well-oiled machine. <laughs> it's so uh, with this, uh, you and uh, everyone there at Oakland University, you've been so creative throughout the pandemic. Uh, are you anticipating that this is going to have to stick around for future semesters as well? Well, we're hoping that eventually we would go back in person, be able to go back to the arena and use um, our, you know, have our traditional ceremonies. Um, fall semester, we'll see. We may likely have to have a virtual ceremony depending on the numbers. But if we're able to house our ceremonies in our arena, and we may have to have more 
And we're fine with that. As long as the students, when they leave their ceremony, they're happy and they feel as though that all of this is, <laughs> their parents are, are happy, <laughs> get that in, um, that, that it was a success and that all their work in is not in vain. What's it take to try to come up with something like this? Just the logistics of actually making it happen. We've heard so much about thinking outside of the box. <laughs> It's the logistic is unbelievable. We have over 80 volunteers is going to volunteer on that day. We have a steering committee of 15 and then we have our office that's all working on logistics. We have a project management system that we use to ensure every month and every week on what we need to do. We have PowerPoints <laughs> that's going to show everyone how they're going to go from a parking spot to the stage and multiple communications to the students. How do you, how many contingency plans do you have going on as well? I'm imagining like a flow chart, right? Yes, we do. We definitely have a flow chart. And we also, it's good to be able to think on your feet and be able to be creative and say, you know, that wasn't a part of the plan, but let's see how this worked at this ceremony <laughs> and go from there. <laughs> you know, and with that, we should also say to uh, some of the students, we know it's maybe not what they wanted or what they would have liked to have had, but at least it's something and it's more than nothing. And to have a little bit of grace and just embrace uh, this year and all of the challenges and celebrate, uh, you know, their accomplishment as well, because, uh, you know, so many times I think we've been stuck in the traditions, mm -hmm. but if anything, during this uh, crisis, we've had to think outside of the box and do things differently. Absolutely. And sometimes that's a good thing as well. I agree. I agree. We just wanted to make sure we always say it's a drive in and we also let the students know it is in person. It's not virtual. You are here on our campus. You are with your family. You will get your diploma. You will walk across the stage. You will see your faculty and the president. So we're giving them some in person components. It's just they don't have to sit and listen to the speakers um, in person. Those will be virtual. So with that, how will it work? Will it come across the speaker in their car? Yes, it will. We will give them a, a station to turn their car radio to, and that's how they were here. Here it is. See, it really is like, you know, repeating history. We're going back to the old days <laughs> of the drive-in movie theaters, right? <laughs> yes. Remember putting the speaker on the side of your car to be able to listen uh, to the movie? I think you guys need to pump in some static, <laughs> you know, so their parents could appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> It is. So if you look at our website, you will see that it's a, a, a older vehicle that we're using to, to do the display of what it's going to be like, because it's, it's like, you know, full circle. <laughs> and so again, we're talking to Dr. Stephanie Lee. She's the administrative associate for the provost office over at Oakland University. Uh, commencement, again, is going to be happening May 13th through the 15th. I would imagine the students have to respond if they plan on actually being there in person. And um, there's probably a cutoff date for that. Yes, they will have to. There is a registration for participation. They would have to come up to our um, student activities office so that they can pick up their parking pass. When they arrive, they have to have the parking pass in their vehicle so we can see that they um, have RSVP'd and, and so we can get them parked in their spot. And yes, the cutoff day, actually it's, it's passed, <laughs> but some of the graduates are studying hard and we know that they're trying to pass their finals and get ready for finals. So we are allowing um, one or two to uh, notify us if they overlooked, if the parents are now reminding them, did you <laughs> contact the commencement office about graduation? So yes. <laughs> Maybe not, don't let them know that. Let them freak out a little bit. <laughs> Dr. Stephanie Lee with us here on the Megacast from Oakland University. Uh, you guys have been uh, amazing throughout this challenging time. A anything else that you want to add? Because, um, you know, you have so many things going on, just trying to uh, get through the year and try to give these students some type of celebration at the same time. We would just, just like to let the students know that they're um, we're going to have a good time. Um, we have honorary degree recipients that will be there. We have, you know, the campus is going to be involved with the entire week for us and just to come to celebrate, celebrate your accomplishments and, and know that, you know, 
this drive-in is is creative <laughs> and that you will have stories to tell about your degree from Oakland University from 2021. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, still cap and gown required, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Stephanie Lee uh, with Oakland University. We so appreciate your time today. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. Stay warm. Yeah.